What's up, everybody, man? Y'all know what it is, man. It's Fred, Fan View Live, Real Fans Talk Sports. Y'all know I'm talking about these Browns. Cleveland. Let's see. Let, let's just keep this a thousand. You're two and six. Baker Mayfield. Everybody got to start accepting who I am, who I am. Well, your ass two and six. That's who you are. You go out there and you lay an egg against the Broncos. We all know the Broncos trying to get a top 10 pick. They look like they're playing hard for, for Vic Vangio, but let's just keep it a thousand. The, the Broncos are not, not trying to compete for postseason play. You didn't lost your last four straight. I'm quite sure every news media outlet nationally will be talking about you guys today. Then people going to be talking about why Odell got the statements he has. Because the Odell has a point. He can't get the football. Because his quarterback can't get him the football. Whatever Odell is going to say, publicly or privately, he's probably very accurate. Baker Mayfield sucks. And he has no excuses. He's no longer, he's no longer a walk-on. This is not Oklahoma. I walked onto the team and became the hop, and you were the first overall pick. You chose everybody. They chose you over every other guy in your draft. You need to figure out how to read coverages. Understand the position you're playing. You're not accurate. You don't know where the defense is going. This is all Baker Mayfield and Freddie Kitchens. And if you're that GM, John Dorsey, you got a decision to make coming up very soon. Because you're going to lose more than just Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry as, as receiving threats. You could lose the whole locker room if you keep going out there each and every Sunday, starting Baker Mayfield, leaving Freddie Kitchens as head coach, and coming up short. Baker Mayfield had 13 targets to the Jarvis Landry yesterday and only completed six. What the hell? He's not getting better. He's getting worse. And at some point in time, if you're John Dorsey, you got to pull the plug and realize you made a mistake at, at the first overall pick. I'm not a fan of thinking this guy really can play at this level. You picked them first overall, you probably still have faith and believe in the kid. As a fan watching the Cleveland Browns, watching some of the highlights this morning, he's not it. Come this offseason, Freddie Kitchens should be fired, and you should be looking to trade Baker Mayfield for any value he has and find you a veteran quarterback. I don't think Odell Beckham is the problem. I don't think Jarvis Landry is the problem. I don't think Nick Chubb is the issue. I don't think your offensive line is the issue. This is a quarterback slash head coach issue. Situation of football, Freddie Kitchens looked just as lost as his quarterback. One read, don't know what to do. This is the pro level. And the Browns got to make a decision. The, the remaining games on this schedule are very winnable. A lot of those teams are, they're over. They already started scouting college football. The remaining roster, the remaining of the teams you got to play. But when you're starting Baker Mayfield, I saw enough to me. As a fan, I've watched Baker Mayfield enough this season to realize that he's not a pro quarterback. The hero ball he wants to play, the things that he wants to do, the one read, and not understanding what give, taking what the defense gives him, understanding when other players like Odell Beckham, when he had that play over the top, and he could have just simply dumped the ball off to him. Listen, he's not a pro quarterback. It is what it is. Don't believe me? Go watch the highlights. He sucks. That's my video on this, man. Let's subscribe to the page, man, if you're on YouTube. Subscribe to the page if you're on Facebook, family, man. I'm out this morning.